I think the indigenous creative industries are very important because it is such a great connector. Um, you can instantly bond over a piece of fashion that you're intrigued by or that you think is beautiful. Um, it just facilitates exchange and it, it builds a relationship. And that might be an easy, easier entry into indigenous culture rather than reading about it in a book or, or hearing someone lecture at you. My name is Riley and I'm from the Pick River First Nation uh, near Thunder Bay. And I'm a PhD student at Ryerson. I'm a Trudeau scholar. I'm an incoming professor in the School of Fashion. Um, and I work on decolonizing fashion and supporting Indigenous designers. I'm interested in um, alternative ways of producing clothing. Um, some people call it slow fashion, it's sustainable fashion, it's really knowing who makes your clothing, first of all, knowing where your clothing comes from. And I think an indigenous approach to fashion is all about that. It's about building relationships with each other. So you know the person who got your hides, you know the person who's tanning your hides, you know the beadwork artist. So there's just such a level of community to indigenous fashion. And those are the kinds of values that I want to take to the mainstream fashion industry. Indigenous fashion is also very queer. Um, I'm reminded of Indigenous Fashion Week Toronto last year. There was a conscious decision to not have a queer night. Um, it wasn't one evening where all the queer designers were showing. The whole Fashion Week was actually very queer. There was a diversity of bodies on the runway. Um, there was a fluidity of gender on the runway. And that's just an inherently Indigenous way of making clothing. So it's actually effortless for us to be inclusive um, and to celebrate our queer and two-spirit designers because um, that's just our values. As we kind of think what does decolonization look like, from my perspective it includes our clothing. Indigenous fashion is very political because we need our land back, we need clean drinking water, we need safety and security, we need our women to stop disappearing. That's all required for us to have Indigenous fashion. We need a cohesive community um, in order to be producing clothing like we used to.